Praying and giving thanks to Saint Nazario has become a weekly ritual for Jose Cabrera. The 68-year-old Levin farmer believes that the saint literally saved his life. He's performed many miracles. I was suffering from a lung disease, I was overworked and eating poorly, but thanks to him, I'm able to walk again. Jose is just one of many people living in Michoacan's rural villages who revere Saint Nazario. To them, he's a savior, but to the Mexican government, he was one of the most wanted and ruthless criminals in the country. Nazario Moreno, known as the craziest one, was the founder and former leader of La Familia, a criminal gang known for grisly violence and pseudo-religious values. He was allegedly killed by federal forces in a two-day gun battle in December 2010. The government claimed his death as a major victory, but his body was never found. Months later, followers from Nazario's home village, Olanda, built a shrine in his honor. They say the cartel leader protected them when he was alive. The capital of Michoacan seems worlds away from towns like Olanda, but politicians here are very much aware of the so-called narco saint's popularity. And in many ways, it's a reflection of the growing disillusionment people have with their own government. This is one of the poorest states in the country. Most people here make their living by farming. It's also where former President Felipe Calderón launched his so-called War on Drugs in 2006. People have a lot of respect for cartel leaders because they help the communities with their most basic needs by providing them with such things as doctors and teachers. Eventually, these leaders are seen as benefactors or even saints. The shrine was vandalized last year. Since then, people pray for Nazario mostly at night and in secret locations. But Jose says he's not afraid. He's not a Catholic saint, but for poor people like us, we feel his presence and we know he's among us. For the government, Nazario may no longer be a threat, but his followers believe his powers will continue to grow, even beyond the grave. Rachel Levin, Al Jazeera, Morelia, Michoacan.